What's up guys? Uh, this morning uh, was my first time in a while. I uh, did not have a coyote uh, or a bobcat, but uh, I've been on a streak with the coyotes. I went about five or six days straight, I believe, with catching a coyote. Um, I'm up here at this spot to show you guys this cable restraint that shattered and on my way here, guys, I, I had to drive by these one-two traps and drove past them got up on this ridge and there was literally a coyote I don't know 150 yards maybe maybe 200 yards at the furthest straight downwind of those where those two traps are um, I'm not 100% sure that he smelt them he's heading that way but he was sure definitely heading that way for a reason but I some, yeah, deer tracks there but anyways I'll uh, Show you guys this cable. So here it is in the ground all the way through there, guys. Comes up and then it's just completely broke, just shattered. But like I said, I think I believe it was a deer. Uh, Usually if a coyote gets in this thing at all, I mean, they're going to be running around in circles. I think the deer got it, literally jumped up, jerked, or just took off sprinting, and that thing just snapped. So that's kind of my guess. Uh, I still have to go and check the muskrat. Some of the, I only set two muskrat traps yesterday, so I still have to go check those. Um, we have terrible, terrible weather coming in. Uh, it's supposed to snow, I believe, starting tomorrow. And then on into Thursday. And it's supposed to be just miserably cold. So I might set my traps off tomorrow. Uh, probably do after work. And I might try to collect the, the uh, wax dirt the best I can because... You know, that stuff's expensive and it takes a lot of time and work to make it. So I don't want to just waste it. So I might try to get it, bring a shovel with me and scoop it up the best I can and put it in a separate bucket for my other actual wax dirt. But that's kind of my game plan right now. And hopefully I have some muskrats in the trap because it does suck when you go um, overnight and you're sleeping, you're thinking about what you're going to have in your trap and then you check all your traps and you have nothing it's pretty upsetting so all right i'm gonna get a cable back over here though guys i'm gonna go ahead and get a cable right here and uh I, I might leave my cable restraints out and just check my cable restraints and uh, just get my my footholds pulled tomorrow so but, all right guys stay tuned Ugh. Yeah, it looks like this ice has actually gotten a lot thicker already. Oh yeah, <laughs> real thick. Hey, we got one, guys. Nice solid rat. All right. Probably, he probably actually come, tried coming through here the other day, but my dumb butt. Didn't have those latches working right. There's the run. Set it right in the middle of it. And right there. 
Guys, we're gonna be ice fishing real soon. Yep, just a good rat. Perfect. Feels like it's sprung. I was like, don't know. Screw it, just gonna have to break it. And I'm stuck. Ugh. Oh yeah, I, think I see something down there, guys. Yeah. Hey, you there, guys? Another big muskrat. All right, on the 110 here, guys. <clears throat> I need to actually fix these 110s. The springs are all messed up, guys. I had to really mess with them yesterday. <clears throat> they want to come out of the, <clears throat> they want to pop off the trap all the time. Just like that, once it get caught right there all the time. I'm struggling. Struggling big time, boys. Gosh dang. 110's beating my ass. There we go. Good lord. A big old rat. All right, good deal. Now I'm good. Get this set. Toss that over there so I don't get fur stuck to the to the ice. They're obviously using this like a ton because that's still wide open water, guys. I could actually probably set. Honestly, I could probably set like two traps right in there or something. See those springs keep wanting to pop out of there. You can see they need to just be closed in a little. Need to be taken to a vise or something. Just like that, like come on. Let me go ahead and Take the triggers off. I guess my safety latches, but put that over the rebar. Right there. Keep hearing crap. Probably too many sticks, but oh well. We're gonna have more sticks than not enough. All right. That ice over there. That ice right there like that and it'll freeze over faster. That way they can't pop up. Not that they will, but look at this guys. Look how big this rat is. I don't know if you guys can tell very well, but he's a monster. 
he is a monster. He has a big old head and everything. Uh, I don't really know too much about muskrat guys. I, like I said uh, in the video when I was setting them, I don't, I don't really have a whole lot of muskrat to trap. So that's why I don't really set much for them. But this is just right down in my pond. Uh, just right over here, guys. It's about a, uh, I'd say half acre pond. Uh, really don't know how many muskrat would even be in here. So if you guys have any suggestions on how many might be in here, uh, I would appreciate you guys commenting and let me know what you guys think or whatnot. So this is kind of a little bit of a learning curve for me because I've literally never have set for muskrats. I've caught muskrat in 330s and stuff, but I've never actually tried to catch a muskrat i guess um but pretty cool actually a lot of people really 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 enjoy muskrat trapping honestly i think they like it so much because it's <laughs> that right there is really easy now when you get to the huts and stuff that looks that looks a little bit harder with the foot traps and stuff but it looks like a lot of fun man they got some big old claws on them dang all right guys so at this pond i have two traps out and I got two muskrats so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um, hopefully I have a little bit better luck on the on the uh, coyote and bobcat line tomorrow morning and like I said earlier in this video uh, I will be pulling some traps or at least uh, snapping them off uh, due to the weather coming in but hopefully I uh, will keep after these muskrats right here guys and uh, like I said please comment and let me know a little bit more about some muskrats so I uh, appreciate it again, guys. Thanks.